Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. Now, I've done some planning, right? I've done some planning and I want to, to mount this there. Yeah, all this stuff we have seen. So we had this, this uh, controller, we need the controller somewhere. We need somewhere, you know, a DC DC converter that we convert from 24 to, ah, I show you. This is, this is the controller I have designed with its case. Well, that's the case. Uh, and we see in there, there is the controller. There are connectors. And now I show you how I think this should look like. Here. Here. This side, I want to connect 24 volts. Right? So here we go in 24 volts. Then this here, this should be a DC DC converter. So with the DC DC converter, I'm converting this 24 volts to 5 volts that I can power supply here by the USB port, my uh, mini, uh, my ESP32 mini. There must be some connections. I'm still thinking about doing this hardwired, soldered, or, or maybe, maybe with some plug here, but we see there is plenty of space around this, this mini here. So I will use plugs. Yeah? Then I can, uh, conveniently mount this. All right. So here, five volts for the mini. Mini, we have some outputs. All right. We have the trigger outputs. So that which is triggering here is the trigger, the, the, the MOSFET driver, the trigger. And I will this is the in, 24 volt in, which is coming from here. And here is the output, which is the pulsating for the, for the uh, stripes. And I hope, I hope this is enough. They promise they can switch, I think, 15 amps. Yeah? I need here for this brightness, we use just C, which is a little bit too bright in my taste, uh, uh, I would need 6 amps. So this should be sufficient to only run with one trigger. However, I want to connect two, two wire pairs, one for the left side and one for the right side, so that I have uh, doubled the, the, the area of the, of the connection lines. Okay, Even if there is a small part, just one. But yeah, better a small than a long part. Yeah. yeah, so this is the this is the power unit here. Yeah. And then we have the measurement unit and the measurement unit I want to place somewhere here. Yeah, here straight just outside of the of the picture. Yeah. I want to measure the brightness because here is the window and if the sun is coming up and so on, then the more brightness shall be measured and yeah. See if this is working. And here's the connection of this. Yeah? Here are the connections of this. Uh, so we'll go from here to here. And here, five pins, because I need three to three volt. I need ground. I need the sense for the brightness measurement. And I need then a data and clock line for the display, because I want to have the display also here. Uh, that It's not somewhere. Uh, so the display should also be away. I hope this is working. Should also be away. Yeah. So this is this is the controller uh, which will be mounted up there. And now let's have a look how how uh, I think this sensor. Aha. Uh -huh. Open without this document. It's fine for me. Close. Uh, this here. This here I'm going to mount at the at the frame. Yeah? We have here some things. This is the this is a press tube. That's this tube. Yeah? This shall be this tube. Maybe a little bit shorter. We'll be mounted here. Back. Yeah? And this. I want to 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 use uh, screws, uh, screws there that are mounted here, 
I have not drawn them, the screws will go in here. Here I will have a melt-in thread so that we can clamp this, 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 this part. Let's see. Let's hide. Oh, I have. Let's remove this maybe. Change transparency. Here you see there is a gap running through this whole this whole element so that I can clamp the tube in here. And through the tube there will be the wires and somewhere down here would be then my controller. So I have to plug it here. And on the other side you see this is a pretty long pretty long rod there. On the other side it almost looks the same, so this part is the same. And then there is the other part. And I have built in here the the, the display. Cannot see it very well. Uh, here is the display inside. And well here shall be the the, the sensor for the brightness. Here this shall be the brightness sensor. Uh, I've made a little, I've made a little, uh, let's also make this look through, yeah, uh, so here there, there shall be then the, the display built in, here the cables are coming out, I've made a cable channel, here, down here, let's hide this, Ah, now we can switch back again the full transparency. Uh, I've made here a, a cable channel. Yeah? So we're going down to, to this carrier board here, which is carrying the display and also the, the resistor, which is uh, building the voltage divider. And there is also a hole. Maybe we switch then to another. You see, there is there is a hole going up also here. So this is the connection to the sensor. And now should be a 3D printed part. Huh? We will see. We will see how this turns out. If this clamping and so on is working, but actually I could then adjust this however I like. Huh? Every height and so on. I hope this clamping is working pretty well. It is a challenge for the 3D printer, of course, because those parts, they are really sophisticated, as you can see. Well, we will see. We will see how this will we'll have a look. Uh, right now, I'm trying to print one of those, uh, those clamps, to see if they can really grab this tube. Yeah, let's see what's going on. But at least that's the plan now, right? Took a while, but now it's there. Next time, see how, how good the reality meets the, the plan. Uh, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.